What's up DC? I'm Nick. And I'm Colin. It's Wednesday, December 13th, and today is Frosty the Snowman Day. Here's the news. Heads up students, Kentucky, Kentucky Governor's School for Entrepreneurs applications are due by January 1st. The Governor's School is free to attend and apply. You will need to submit an online application, a two-minute video, and two recommendations. See Ms. Powers in the Guidance Office if you have any questions. Attention seniors! The cost for the basic cap gown tassel stole will increase after the deadline of December 16th for order for graduation items. Additionally, you will have to add shipping and handling on these orders as they did not make the, the bulk order shipment for Jospin's. If you have any questions at all, please call or stop by and see Ms. Anderson or Misty Borman in Student Services. Senior packets regarding all this information will be available at Student Services as well. Attention JCL members, club t-shirts are available to be picked up from Mr. Feasty in room 201. The JCL Christmas party will be held this Saturday, December 3rd. If you're a JCL member, you're invited. If you haven't done so already, sign up with Mr. Feasty. Now stay tuned for a message from Mr. Mason about upcoming finals. Good afternoon, Davis County High School. I just want to talk to you a little bit about exemptions and testing and uh, all the information here coming at the end of the semester just as a reminder to students, uh, especially our freshman students um, because you all have never had the schedule before. So just a couple of things I want to reiterate to you. Number one is the importance of the ELC exams and final exams. ELC exams are part of our accountability system and also it counts as 20% of your grade. So do finals. These tests are very, very important. ELCs will be taken in the morning on Thursday and Friday, and final exams will start uh, 12 o'clock on Thursday and 12 o'clock on Friday. 12 o'clock is first on Thursday is first block final, and then at 1.45 is second block final on Thursday. On Friday at 12 o'clock is third block final, and at 1.45 is fourth block final. So all this information has been sent to you via email, your student email. So make sure that you check it, go over it. Um, make sure that you go over it with your parents so that they know if you're exempt uh, and that you don't have to go to school. Make sure that you go over the schedule with them. Uh, we will be sending out an email to parents as well about this information. EOCs will be taking in the morning of those two days. Um, there will not be any checkouts. Uh, we cannot disrupt classrooms during EOCs or final exams, so do not have your parents check you out. That's very, very important. Uh, we do not want to make any uh, distractions or have any distractions for students during final exams uh, because students take these very, very important. Uh, now, if there's an emergency, that's a little, that's a little different, but uh, we are not going to be checking out students and coming and getting you from your classes. Uh, for, because we do not want any disruptions during final exams. Like I said, these exams are very, very important uh, to students in our school. Take them very seriously. Uh, if you have any questions at any time about our school schedule, make sure that you ask your teachers or you can ask me when you see me in the hallway. Um, one other thing I want to reemphasize, a lot of students do still come to school on buses. Uh, you might exempt one block and then take another final. If you are exempting a final, uh, you must report to the auditorium during that time. You're not, you're not allowed in other parts of the building as exams are taking place. Also, I just want to mention that during Thursday and Friday during lunch, okay, lunch is pizza and sandwiches only because we don't know how many students uh, will be here, per se, um, for lunch time. So take that into effect that pizza and sandwiches only uh, and lunch is from 1045 to 1150. Again, lunch is from 1045 to 1150 this Thursday and Friday. Um, so make sure that you do get something to eat. Make sure that you get a good night's sleep. And also make sure that you get a good breakfast for all of your exams. Now, I want to wish you all the best of luck on all exams. And also have a Merry, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your break. Uh, take time to spend with your families and uh, friends. Uh, and then come back with your batteries recharged for second semester. It goes by fast. And... Uh, School year will be over before you know it. Enjoy the holiday season, and we will uh, see you when you get back from Christmas break. Thank you. Look out, students. Pauls will be having a fundraiser night at Texas Roadhouse tonight after school at 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come out and support Pauls in their efforts to raise funds for the after prom party. 
Attention students, just a reminder, yearbooks are on sale for $55 right now. Stop by room 132 to pay with cash or check. Press goes up after Christmas, so buy now. Heads up students, winter 2016 is quickly approaching and the deadline to return college textbooks is today by 3 p.m. If you bought your textbook with your own money, you can get cash back. But if DCPS is responsible for the purchase, you still need to return the textbook to the bookstore. If you have any questions, you see Neil Hayden in the DCHS Guidance Office or call the OCTC Bookstore. Attention Juniors! The Washington Youth Tour Contest deadline is approaching. Don't miss the deadline of December 30th. You just need to be a junior and be a Kennedy customer. You can fax or mail the end of the application and the essay isn't due until January 15th. See Ms. Powers for more info. Attention Students! If you're not sure whether or not you've earned a CCR exemption, check the television monitor next to the CCR Center. If you've earned your college readiness benchmarks, but your name isn't on the list, then you need to give Ms. Colbert a copy of your test scores showing that you have earned qualifying scores in English, Math, and Reading. Email Ms. Colbert with any questions. Here's what's going on today at DC. The DC bowling team is taking on Warren East starting at 5.30. The Lady Panthers cross country banquet is tonight at 6 p.m. in the cafe. The Panthers basketball team is traveling to take on Butler County with the JV game at 6 and the varsity game at 7.30. And the Lady Panthers basketball team is taking on Logan County tonight with the JV game at 6 and the varsity game at 7.30. That's all your news for today, DC. Only three more days left until Christmas break. Tomorrow is Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. Have a great day and we'll see you then. Bye.